All right, what's a great search this week, Lady Ada? Okay, a great tune you can hum in the shower. So this week, um, you know, working on this tester, I needed some aluminum standoffs. So these are called male-female standoffs, but there's, um, you know, there's hex type, there's nylon, there's aluminum. And I think a lot of people don't realize you can get um, standoffs and um, connectors and spacers from DigiKey. And uh, the price is quite good, especially when you're ordering, um, you know, 50 or above. Uh, so I used to, you know, I would have kits that have standoffs or spacers in them. Um, check out DigiKey. You may not realize it that they have very good prices on, on these mechanical connectors. They don't just sell resistors, capacitors, and chips. It's also hardware. So. Um, well, there's so many things there. How could I find it? I wish there was a segment online each week called Desk of Lady Ada, The Great Search. Well, part of it is showing how to search, but the other part is telling you what you can search for. Because yeah. I think knowing that is half the battle. Um, so let's look for uh, Stand Off. Maybe we'll do another segment one day called Tell Me What to Do. Tell Me What to Do. <laughs> and then, then you can go search for it. Okay, so... Yeah, there's a whole category called board spacers, standoffs, fasteners. They've got the stuff. Okay, so as usual, let's look for active parts. And let's do normally stocking. Okay, so next up you can see that there's like a whole bunch of things here. So let's first um, go to the overhead and we'll look at the standoffs that we, we need. So for this tester, I'm using uh, these standoffs, and um, the hole that I'm connecting into is about uh, 0.1 inch. And, um, you know, unfortunately, I live in America, and so I use Imperial, and so if it was, um, if I was using millimeters, I'd be like, oh, it's, I'd probably want M2 or M2.5, but unfortunately, uh, we're stuck with inches and so, and so I'll have to tell you that this is an M, so this is a um, number 256. <laughs> just like totally illogical. You're like, how would you know that? You just do. So I need a 2-56 threaded um, standoff. So let's pick that first. So back to the computer. And we're going to look at the screw and thread size. And uh, there's number two, there's like two and 256. I don't know what's up with that. You can also get metric, but I'll say it's sometimes a little easier in the US to get imperial sizes. So you stick, you know, you stick to one, you just always stick to that. Um, something new in the DigiKey revision that they recently updated their search is you don't have to option click anymore. This is like, you just click whatever you want. I don't believe that used to be true. I think it used to require option click, but I'm so used to this now that that's fine. Um, okay, so that really cut down all of the parts quite a bit. Um, one thing that's really cool is um, I love these surface mount nuts. This is not what I'm looking for, but these are awesome. Um, I use them on the matrix portal. I've used them on um, the uh, TFT gizmos and like things, you know, things that attach to circuit playgrounds. Um, they're pick and place surface mountable standoffs that you that you pick and place onto a board and then you can thread into them so it's like and they're like really mechanically strong because they're like bonded you know completely anyways um all right so there's all sorts of these are also i think uh surface mount standoffs um but i want ones that are um well let's just go back to the overhead and i'll show you i want ones that are like this style so i want ones that I screw in from the bottom and then they have these little posts at the top. And the post is what allows me to align the circuit board, right? So I want to have the, the post stick out. So these are called um, male, female. So you can go back to the uh, computer. It's gonna, we're gonna go back and forth a couple times. So it's called male, female, threaded. So let's apply. Okay, so we have now much better option so there, this is what we look we want i love this mouse over because it really it tells me like am i even in the right place um next up we get to choose the materials you know i tend to do aluminum um but you can use nylon nylon's non-conductive all right the next thing is we need to know the height of 
the standoff. So let's go. Sorry, one one last time. We're gonna go back to the overhead. I don't really do much than this, so it's fine. Okay. I mean, like this is kind of my thing. Okay, so we want to know the the distance between uh, boards. So this is, you know, when we look at the pogo, we it has to basically be like about a, less than a half an inch, right? A half an inch or less, to uh, make sure that it doesn't bottom out. Okay, so back to uh, the computer. We'll do our last selection. Um, we have uh, a couple options here. We have uh, 7 sixteenths and then 1 half. So we'll, maybe we'll pick these two. Apply. And then I like aluminum, so I'm going to go with aluminum. Yeah, why is that? Because um, it's like easy to work with. The nylons... They can strip. I, th I like that the aluminum, you can really torque the heck out of them. Um, there's a couple options here. Um, the difference is whether they have iridite plating, which I don't exactly know why you need it. I've never used iridite, but apparently it's available, but we don't need special plating. So now we basically have two options. I ended up using um, this one, the 7 sixteenths, which is the exact right size. And... Um, so here's the thing that is, is people don't realize is that when you're, you know, if you get like just one, you know, it's going to be a dollar because like they don't want to sell you just one. Oh, there's a question? Well, I'm just going to keep us up with comments and more. Yeah. So uh, the, the jingles in people's heads permanently. That was by Design Good. Good, yeah. Uh, Manthe says, thanks for sharing this. Uh, Yugo wants to know, is Pogo Pins the term part we'd search for? For those pins, not the posts. Like if yeah, have... it's it's actually not. Um, they're called spring contacts officially, but I don't know anyone who ever calls them that. They're called pogo spring pins. Spring contact. It sounds like a, it sounds like a uh, app in the app store. I know. Like, spring contacts. Spring contacts. Yeah, I'm it's gonna the new Bumble. I'm gonna connect with rabbits. Yeah. Uh, um, no. So so if you want to search for it, you need to search for spring spring contacts. Right. Maybe we'll do it next week. But I right. wanted to do the standoffs first because a lot of people don't realize you can get standoffs. So I, you know, I used to get standoffs from McMaster and McMaster has like, you know, also every kind of standoff in size. When you're buying, you know, a couple, like five, you're going to, they're going to basically be like 20 cents cheaper on McMaster. But once you get to 10 pieces, um, the price is basically the same. It's within four cents. And when you're ordering like a large quantity, the price actually is much better than McMaster. So you know, I think a lot of people, when they think, like, hardware, oh, I'm going to go to, like, McMaster Car, or I'm going to, like, go to another, like, you know, small parts online store. But I actually found that for screws and standoffs and, um, you know, other, like, mechanical hardware pieces, if, as long as you're buying more than 10, the pricing on DigiKey will probably be better um, than if you bought it from a specific hardware store. Because I think that the hardware store is like, they, they're very niche, and so they're like, well, we can kind of charge whatever we want. Whereas DigiKey is like, they really want to get the large quantity orders. Like, they want you to put this into manufacturing. So it's um, good to keep in mind, you know, once you get to 1,000, you know, the pricing is 30 cents. I'm like, that's as good as it's going to get, right? You're not going to be able to get standoffs for much less than that because it's, that's what the aluminum costs um, to machine. So this is the hardware. This is actually what we buy when we make testers. Uh, at Adafruit, we get you know a couple hundred of these at a time, and um, we use them to build um, our standoff-based uh, pogo testers, and that's how every board gets tested. The Adafruit factory. All right. All right. And that's the great search. And that's the great search. Okay.